hey y'all welcome back to another video so let's discuss about the title of my video so yes um i can't grow everybody's hair i it's been instances where i can do as much as i can but i can't grow everyone's hair let's talk about the reasons why i can't grow everyone's hair so it all depends on what's going on within the client's hair head actually within the client's scalp so one topic i like to talk about is malnutrition so if you're lacking the vitamins the minerals and the other nutrients that your body need just like in your diet when, when you're intaking food like this pretty much and you're trying to lose weight if you're lacking that your body is going to show so that we need to embed that in our minds that our hair will do the same our hair is the first thing to know so if you're lacking protein in your diet or just lacking protein you will become protein deficient so therefore your hair is made up of protein so if you don't have protein your hair is going to stop it's going to get weak brittle making it hard for you to produce new hair follicles also my next thing i want to say is that you could be lacking in you know nutrition is iron ladies we have to check our iron men as well but mostly i'm really mainly ladies talk we need to check our iron because we can be thinking that one thing going on but we'll be surprised that we suffer from low iron and if you have low iron it doesn't mean that oh i'm really low in iron you could be like one level lower to where the where they want you to be at you could be one level lower than that and still be considered low iron and it's not healthy so yes confession i have low iron um i supposed to be going back to the doctor to get that checked but yeah i have low iron it's not bad it's like one level low but yeah, uh, at one point last year, my hair was not looking the same. It was getting thinner. I'm like, what the world is going on? This is different. I usually have a good medium amount of hair. And by me having natural hair, it's hiding it. But I knew that something's going on. And when I went to the doctor, they said I had low iron. I'm like, what? Sometimes, usually, you know, that time of the month, your menstrual can cause uh low iron but make sure if you have suffering from um hair loss let that be one of your main things to go check so low iron can cause a lack of production in your hemoglobin and that is not good because you need that to be produced in your blood so hemoglobin carries oxygen for the growth and repair of the cells in your body so you need blood to stimulate growth in your hair. Like that is literally the production of your your um, growth in your hair. Blood. Great blood flow creates growth. So this one is a very common one that I know a lot of people tend to hear and overlook. is water. You need to drink water. Because once your hair becomes dehydrated, yes, your hair can become dehydrated. It will leave your hair thirsty basically so if it leave from what i experienced i literally because of you know over the years i've been doing hair i can literally tell when someone is drinking water because the hair has a natural polish it's easier to glide through the hair there's less breakage and less splits of course your hair is going it's inevitable your hair is going to split but you're not causing it to split even more and causing damage because you're drinking water your hair is hydrated and i want to finally talk about vitamin deficiency so a lot of us lack d3 and c those to me are like one of the main things because once again uh when i got checked myself by the doctor i was lacking d and c and and low iron and b12 like y'all all of that together are like the main ingredients of health and your hair is suffering so lack of d3 causes the same thing you know with your hair follicle the growth in the follicle 
is the damaged and gets becomes brutal. All these are similar things. So if this similar thing is happening within your hair, it's becoming creating a bigger and bigger problem. And once you up your vitamin C, it will protect your hair. It becomes like a shield of armor. Like it protects you from the alopecia and the baldness and stuff because you're strengthening your hair follicles, you guys. Once I personally started taking my vitamins and doing it consistently more, I instantly noticed a difference. I saw that my hair started growing more. I started seeing thin areas starting to fill because I saw the follicles were there, like the indention of my hair follicles, it just they wasn't growing. So I saw that, I noticed a difference. I even noticed a difference in my face. My face didn't look drained. My, my face started becoming, the skin tone started changing, becoming more even and not looking like I'm lighter than what I'm supposed to be because I'm lacking blood flow or having vitamin deficiency. So these are a few of the nourishments and nutritional things that I wanted to discuss in this video to show that if you check even these simple things, how much you will see a difference in your hair growth and show that like if you guys have to do your homework, this is a part of the a home care that stylists need to see from you guys because we can we we can only do so much when you come into the chair. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen within a service. You have to fix those internal things in order for us to be able to help your hair grow. We aid in helping your hair grow. We're not God. We can't make your hair snap our fingers and bam, your hair back where it need to be. So the best thing we can do is just help guide you into the growth of your hair, making sure you get your maintenance, all that thing, all those things you guys. So comment below, you know, your thoughts on the nutrition. And y'all, I'm really enjoying, you know, giving you guys this information. When I first started, yes, I was shy. I couldn't do the talking thing. But now that I'm in my rhythm and flow, it's a lot of information I want to give you guys. So just comment below. Um, the next topic, you know, it might not be in the next video. Uh, it might be. It all depends on the video. But I will be discussing hormonal hair loss. So this was mostly solely focused on malnourished hair loss. Things that, yes, by us not, you know, our intake on diet and all that good stuff can affect our hair loss. So, I want to talk about hormonal hair loss. And then also, I want to talk about hair pills and the fix of that. So, y'all stay tuned. So, it's going to be going down. Because, yes, y'all, I have a lot of content <laughs> that's stored away. So, I'm ready, y'all. Keep watching this video to see her before and after. I'm going to give you guys a video of what she looked like before this, her hair length, and looking like it now. Because this girl hair be growing fast, y'all. She's a prime example of she takes care of her nutrition. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the before, and then I'm going to show you the after. And you can check out her video. I'm going to have it in the card above. Because, y'all, her hair was long, and we cut it off. <music>